Capacities tutorial for beginners, manage your team's knowledge and workflow. Hey guys, welcome to Capacity tutorial in which I will show you how you can use Capacity note taking app to manage your team and workflow, how you can unlock your brain's power. So let's get into it. First of all, what you need to do is you need to go to capacities.io and you'll land on this website right here. Capacity is more than just a note taking app. It's actually a, your own studio to help you manage your team, track your projects and create tasks and actually collaborate with your team and create a workflow. So how to get started with Capacity? It's really easy. All you have to do is just click on register and you can sign up using your Google account or your email address. So once you sign up for capacity this is where you will land this is the very initial dashboard that you will be getting with capacities now you can see right here uh, there's an app available as well for capacities or you can access it on your you know laptop or pc it's totally fine so with capacity it depends on why you are using capacity if you want to use it for your daily life or you just want to use it for your you know, you know personal use or you want to actually manage your team or workflow so what happens is that with capacity at this side of the screen you'll be able to see your simple you know add a note or content option we have a calendar we have a pinned post we have different objects where we can create different pages uh, different types and more here there are some few steps that you can actually do you can explore the calendar you can create the object type and more so that's what i will show you so the first thing that we can see here is this new content button now this button allows me to create a tag a page a table an image a web link tweet pdf audio or a file so we're going to simply go ahead and create a simple page here i can now add any type of you know note i can create a task here i can actually add different links and we can have actually more than one collection too we can add different icons as well so let's say that this one is actually work related and i want to have like a workflow for my team that i'm creating with capacities so for that i'm just going to go ahead and quickly customize my dashboard a little bit because i like to kind of like have this you know visual uh you know note notes as well so it kind of gives me this idea of okay we are productive and creative so i'm gonna quickly go ahead and do that so i have this icon just added here then we're gonna add the title so for the title i'm just gonna call it my team for now and then we have the tags now for the tags i'm gonna create a brand new tag which is going to be the title of this tag is going to be team and i'm gonna just click on add and then it will be added right here similarly we can add another tag which is going to be here this is the test video tag so that i know i created this for the video and i'm just going to click on add and it will be added right here so now you can see we have two tags and we have the main title now this is where i can do a lot i can first of all add a simple text or any kind of like uh you know thing i want to add and then we have this plus button that allows me to to insert we have the um you know shift we have the insert block or more so here press or long slash to add or or to create something so here i'm just gonna go ahead and maybe like add my team workflow okay so once i do that then i'm gonna scroll down and here what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and press plus and then it, once you hit plus here you can add the headings you can add the bullet list you can add the to-do list and more so what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a to-do list for my team so the first thing is for example we do content creation so what i'm going to do is i'm going to be creating different to-do lists so the first thing is actually writing the the script writing so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to go with script writing and then the second thing is going to be maybe the you know the recording of the video and then we have the editing of the video and then we have the proof check and then we have the upload so maybe this is like a simple example for you guys of what i can do with with capacity i'm gonna hit this plus again so we're gonna go ahead and hit press and then we can create a code box we can create a toggle or more so let's go with toggle here and this time i will be doing is i will actually upload a file here so uploading a file is really easy so with capacities you can see i can add uh, columns we can create an object 
such as image, tweet, audio, page, date, and more. So here I'm going to go for the files and we're just going to go ahead and upload a file from my computer. So I have uploaded the file right here. You can see it will be added. So let's say this was like uh, the script or anything that I wanted to add. Then I'm going to go ahead and do a bit more here to show you guys. Uh, we have the, uh, you know, the, the due date. So link a date. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to link a date for tomorrow. And here I can edit it a bit and we can change the time. So if I want to edit the, you know, day or something like that. So I can do that. It's not all day. But it's going to be here tomorrow, 60 minutes. Okay, perfect. So you can see now we have even added like a date here, a due date for this one. And this is how we actually create a bunch of different notes and different, you know, workflow for the team. Uh, now what I can do is I can actually show you the how we can share it. So at the top here, you will get the graph view of this. And we have three dots here. These three dots will allow you to share this note. So I'm going to click on share. And now I can share this content with others with a link as well or i can even invite my team members to my capacities app similarly we have the calendar option here so now i'm going to take you to the calendar now uh, in calendar of course you will get the view according to different you know date and time and if i scroll down a little bit it actually shows me what i have done or what i've created maybe like if i added a date to a specific task or a to a page so it will be added right here automatically we can create different notes according to the different dates so for example i want to go for tomorrow and then we can add like a note here um we can actually add a reference page so so look for this date because i added the date here to my this note so you can actually see it here and i can open this page automatically from my calendar so maybe the next day if i want to create a new note so i can do that so the process is going to be similar we can like add anything so let's say this one is like a test note that i'm creating and then we can go ahead and shoot plus and then we can add like a bullet list here and we can like add different things to this list so now if i click on add you will see that it will be added according to this you know calendar or this specific date and it will be shown right here uh, then we have the pinned now in pinned what i can do is i can just simply pin any of my notes and they will be added here how to pin it you click on these three dots and then you can see the unpin option or pin so for example the note that i just created uh, for example i'm just going to go to here and this is the one that we created so i'm going to click on these three dots and then we can from here we can do more we can delete it we can um you know pin it or unpin it and here i can see all of my tags how to create a new tag you just simply click on new tag and then you can create your own for example you can create tags according to um you know different uh, templates as well so for example we have the person here and we can use this template to create a people's tag where i can create different people so for example here we have people and i'm going to click on new and it will allow me to now create different you know notes according to different people so that's actually really good for managing and organizing and this way i can actually you know create a workflow for my team and i can manage them better similarly i can click on new tab again and this time maybe i can go with the files or page or uh, we have idea so or, or project actually so let's go with project click on use template so this time I can add as many notes as I like according to my projects and it will be added right here and this is what it will look like so you can see now my each tag has specific you know notes or uh, you know ideas ready for me to use this way I can use capacities for my ultimate you know team goals and i can create as many notes as i like and create files and do a lot more so yeah guys if this video was a big help to you i hope now you know how to use capacities don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up leave a comment down below and subscribe to the youtube channel